Hello and welcome to our channel of Biodiversity and Conservation by Ambika Prasad Research Foundation. I welcome you all here to the discussion on phytochemistry, plants and its metabolites. Plants uh, possesses two types of metabolites, that is uh, primary metabolites and secondary metabolites. Primary metabolites, what they do is they help in the normal growth, development and reproduction. But the secondary metabolites, uh, they do not help in the normal growth and reproduction, but uh, they do help selectively. They actually help in the defense mechanism. Different types of secondary metabolites, namely uh, saponin, tannin, terpenoids, etc. So today we will be discussing on saponin, and we will also be the, uh, experimenting the presence of uh, saponin in the plant extract. The word saponin is taken out from the Latin language that is sapon. Uh, this means soap. So as we know, uh, soap is bitter. So like soap. Saponin enhances the bitterness in plant. Saponin reduces the palatability of the plants and so such unpleasant plants is avoided by herbivores. Uh, apart from this, other insects uh, as well as mollusks, they do not prefer such plants having saponin. Saponin can repel insects, uh, it can be used as an insecticidal agent, uh, in other cases it can be used as uh, shampoos, detergents and other cosmetic products. It has other medicinal properties such as uh, it can act as an antibacterial, antifungal as well as anti-cancer agent. In high concentration, saponin can be harmful for our health. For example, in Nerium oleander, there is a toxic compound known as oleandrin. Consumption of this plant can lead to complications like vomiting, uh, respiratory problems, abdominal pain. So, we will see how to detect the presence of saponin experimentally. So, come, let's uh, get into the experiment. For saponin test, we have got four different plant extract of different plant parts. So we have taken uh, one ml each of the plant extracts here. So in here we will be adding one ml of water, distilled water. So let's see. supposed to vigorously shake there is froth but the froth is not persistent so when we find that the froth is persistent we are supposed to uh, find that the, the test is positive but since there is froth which is not persistent the result is negative for saponin so we have seen the previous uh, four extracts now we have got the last extract 
here I'm adding uh, one ml of distilled water you can choose your solvent according to your uh, choice of uh, work see the fruit so this indicate the presence of saponin so this is it for today thank you next time we will come up with uh, more videos on other secondary metabolites as well as primary metabolites so if you like the video please like share and subscribe thank you